dear students let's learn what is tfidf in our natural language processing tfidf is a process to reduce the complexity because the computer will understand only numbers through a step by step process let us see how do we calculate tfidf we have five documents document 1 2 3 4 and 5 this is called as the corpus the first step that we are supposed to do in tfidf is to create document vectors for the given documents that is term frequency table so we are supposed to calculate term frequency table so how do we calculate term frequency table let's see so we will create all the unique words as the first row all the unique words that is the dictionary so to the swinging and ringing of bells rhyming chiming if you see all these five documents the words are not repeated this we call it as the dictionary next we are writing all the documents and for each document we make sure to the swinging and ringing so we have two in document 1 d is repeated twice so you are writing to here swinging is repeated only once in the document 1 and is only repeated once and ringing is also repeated once the rest of the values would be zero because we don't have of or bells or rhyming or chiming in our document 1 now let us come to document 2 of the bells so let us see where do you find of go there and write one bells how many times it is repeated three times so the remaining all the values the is repeated once and remaining all the values are zeros now in document 3 of the bells if you see here of is repeated once in document 3 the is repeated once and bells is repeated four times and the remaining all the documents we make sure it is zero and document 4 it is bells so bells is repeated three times and the remaining words all the values would be zero in document 5 to the rhyming and chiming of the bells that is two is repeated once the is repeated once twice thrice that means three times it is repeated swinging it is zero and one of one bells one time rhyming one time chiming one time so this is our term frequency table so once the term frequency table is ready the second step that we are supposed to do is document frequency table so what is this document frequency table let us see now we need to make sure how many times in the word is repeated in all the five documents and we make sure it is one and two we you can see the occurrence of the word how many times in document 1 it is once and in document 2 also so here one and two it is two here the if you see here it is repeated twice here but we will calculate it as one 2 3 4 so four times the occurrence of this in all the five documents so we will write four here swinging one time only in one document remaining all the documents are zero so we will write one and is we can see it occurred only in document 1 and in document 5 that means two times so two ringing only once in document 1 so it is written as one of we can see here in document 2 document 3 and document 5 irrespective of the repetition how many times it occurred all over the document we are counting so it is 3 now bells if you see here in document 2 we got in document 3 in document 4 and in document 5 so 1 2 3 and 4 so the document frequency of bells it occurred in the 
four documents, so we are writing it as four. Rhyming, it is only once, and chiming is also only once, that is in document five. So our document frequency table is ready. So the next step after document frequency table to calculate inverse document frequency table. Now, what is inverse document frequency? We have to make sure total number of documents. How many total number of documents we have? Five. So total number of documents by document frequency. So now if you see here, students, you have to make sure the document frequency table is correct. Then only your inverse document table will also be appropriate. So five by two, according to the formula, total number of documents by the document frequency of this particular word, that is two. So five by four, swinging is five by one, five by two, ringing is five by one. So document frequency, this is the value, total number of documents you would be writing first by denominator is the document frequency. After that, we are doing it for the TF-IDF. So the formula to calculate TF-IDF, how do we calculate this? So we have it here, that is TF-IDF. So first thing, we have to calculate TF-IDF for all the five documents. And also we have to make sure that one into log of five by two. So what is the formula? TFIDF of each word is equal to term frequency of each word into log of IDF of W. So here inverse document frequency, we already have calculated it in our previous step. So here we are substituting term frequency of the word. So what is term frequency of document one, two? It is one term frequency is the first table that we are taking the values of the term frequency into log of five by two. Five by two is the inverse document frequency. So this is how we will calculate for all uh, term frequency into log of inverse document frequency. You will substitute these values uh, and then you will be able to get it. So here, uh, this is how we are calculating for uh, to the swinging and ringing of the bells, rhyming, chiming. This is our uh, table document frequency, TF-IDF table within these four steps. Please make sure that you would be explaining each and every step clearly, you would be writing clearly. Please denote the table format so that it is very clear. So document one, document two, document three, everything should be very clear. Document wise, you will uh, substitute the values that is based on this table. Please don't uh, forget to write the formula and you would be substituting the values in this formula. Thank you.